We all love a good Big Mac, but how could it be improved? Well, if one could somehow remove the patties and replace them all with Wagyu beef, that would be, well, crazy. Today I'll be going to the biggest fast food restaurants and ordering just a regular burger without the patty. Why? Because I want to answer a simple question. Which fast food burger is best when the patties are subbed for Wagyu beef? Even better, I'll be cooking each burger to order as we sit in the drive-thru. But before leaving, we need to do some quick prep. What you're looking at here is Japanese A5 Wagyu beef from Hokkaido, Japan. Just take a second to look at that perfect marbling. What I'm doing here is something I can promise you no one's ever done before. We're gonna lightly roll out our Wagyu to make thinner patties. Then we'll take our ring mold and make a perfect patty out of our Wagyu. Tell me that's not the best looking burger patty you've ever seen. And once we've done it with all four patties, it's time to hit the road. So we are headed to McDonald's. I figured the Big Mac would be the best place to start because I'll be honest, I'm a sucker for a good Big Mac. Like I said, we are literally going to be cooking in the car right here between myself and Manny. And we're going to cook as we go through the drive through so that the second we go through and get that burger without the patties, we can immediately put our fresh hot Wagyu patty in and taste. Looks like they're still hiring, Manny. It's not too late. As you can see here, this is my in-car cooking situation for the day. And I'm going to ask you now not to give me a hard time if we're not getting a perfect golden brown char on all the meat. Yeah, you're f***ing up, you're cutting corners, and you're slipping big time. When Wagyu cooks, the fat goes everywhere. So I'm going to keep the temperature a little bit lower, but as long as we get a nice light char on the outside of the patties, I'm happy with it. To begin, I'll hit both sides of our patties with just a little bit of salt. This is called seasoning. Quick little tip for Ronald McDonald himself. And once we fired up that cooktop, on goes my patty. All right, let's go through the drive through. Smells great. Yes, hi, how are you? How are you? Great, thank you. Just cooking. Could we please have two orders of large fries? Any yes? Yes, can you do one Big Mac but hold back the patties? How do you like the big patties, sir? Just the Big Mac without any meat, please. Any yes? Nope, that would be it. Thank you so much. <laughs> What is she laughing about? How are you? Were you the one laughing at us? Have you ever seen anyone do this before? We're cooking. Oh my goodness, you drive I don't think there's a law against cooking and driving. <laughs> Looks good, right? You want to try? No, okay, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. So keep in mind with a Big Mac, we need two patties. So my first one here looks to have kind of a nice crust on the bottom here, it seems. So I'm going to flip that over. Not even bad crust for cooking in the car. Manny, what do you think? Not bad at all. It's a beautiful crust. Look at all the steam coming up. The car is going to be so ruined. But I mean, that's a good looking patty. Have you heard of this brand, Osmo? No. Never? That's the best salt I've ever had. Good stuff. Yeah, you should check it out. I'll bring you some next time. Okay. It's getting a little smoky in here. I want to know how you are smelling after this. You're going to smell it like me. I'm going to smell delicious. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Wow, that smells smells great. All right, we pulled off to the side here. We got our order. Let's first see if they even got it right with such a strange order. So what we should have here is a Big Mac with literally no meat at all inside. <laughs> it looks like they've done exactly that. In fact, they even put the cheese there for us. But like I said, we've got two layers of Wagyu to fill in. To begin, I want to place this piece of cheese on top of our Wagyu patty. This is the second time in this video that we've done something that I don't think anyone's ever done before. Because why on earth would you put cheese on Wagyu? But rules are rules and we have to make the burger exactly as it comes. Naturally, I also had to get the good old picturesque McDonald's fries, which I will give them credit. Perhaps rivaled by Shake Shack, they have the best fries in the game. While our first patty continues cooking to get that perfect medium rare, I'll prepare the second patty. Now that our first patty is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and place that down into my Big Mac. That is our first layer. Now we just need that second patty. With all this smoke, my entire car is going to smell like Wagyu for weeks, maybe months. To finish things off, I'll lift off my pickles because they're supposed to be on top of the patty and place those right on my Wagyu patty. Then I'll lift the whole thing back over and place it on the Big Mac to complete our first burger today, the Big Mac. You can't tell from the outside, but this here is no ordinary Big Mac. No, this is the Wagyu Big Mac. The entire thing is just an absolute beast. And I don't think I've ever been more excited sitting right outside of McDonald's. I'm not going to make you wait around. I think we just dive in. That's pretty crazy. Man, this is fucking fire. This Wagyu Big Mac right here essentially takes everything that's amazing about the Big Mac. In my opinion, the sauce. To me, that special sauce is the highlight of the Big Mac. So we still have that. But then we get all that fattiness that Wagyu beef has to offer. And it makes something that's out of this world good. All right, Manny needs a taste. Let's do this. Oh, shit. It's mad good. I'm like a mess, though. What's your rating? Amazing. Man? You're like an eight and a half out of time. What? Ten out of time. I want to keep my job. He's fired. We are now driving into Burger King, the home of the Whopper. Naturally, we have to replace that Whopper with Wagyu. Manny, this place always has something messed up with their... What's going on now? They need Andy Manny. Andy Manny. Can I help you? Could we please do one Whopper without the patty? No meat. Oh, okay. We'll see you in a sec. Thank right. you. This one's looking good, huh? How are you? Great, thank you. Okay. We're just cooking it up in here. Look at that. 
Isn't that good? That's cool. She just told the whole staff. We're gonna have a squad coming over here in a second. She didn't seem so happy about it. We yeah. flip. Yeah. See if we got a nice crust. Oh, oh look at that. that. Look at that crust. Just for car cooking, we are getting a better crust than most people can get cooking on a grill or cooking on a cast iron out here. This is just unbelievable. Well, oh, it's Joanna. Manny, it's Joanna. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, you're giving us the sandwich for free? That's so nice. Who's gonna win the best sandwich? You? I don't know, maybe me. The breakfast for the another day when you come. In. Yeah, you yeah, it? we liked it. It was fantastic. Yeah, you gave us a free breakfast sandwich. That was so nice of you. We're making another video today. This is nice Wagyu beef. I can't believe it. you're cooking in the <laughs> That's crazy. I know, Joanna, I know. Good Looks idea. nice, right? Yeah. yeah. And then we're just cooking it, and then we're gonna take the Whopper. I'll show you, because there's no one behind us. So we just take the patty. Look at that, <laughs> nice and fresh. Drop that on there. You don't like Perfect. salt, pepper? Perfect fit, we put a little salt on there. You wanted a little bucket of salt? Oh, we have salt. You guys have Osmo or no? Oh, no. You don't have Osmo? Do you have pepper? Yes. Should we do a little pepper? Yeah, a little pepper, yeah. I think we should do a little pepper. Put it, you wanna sprinkle it on? <laughs> Joanna, you are just the queen. This is fantastic. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Joanna's the ghost. What do you want, my phone number or the, the, no, channel? the, the channel? Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. No, if you can give me your phone number, that's fine, I take it. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm okay. so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to see you again. Thank you so much. You're welcome, enjoy We'll see you, Joanna, thank, thank you. you. Legend. I love the stuff at McDonald's, but this right here, this looks insane. I've been going to Party City a lot lately just for all the parties that I've been throwing at home. Right, Manny? Yeah. Don't I party? All the time. So I have to say, this just looks more appetizing to me. The patty is perfect. Joanna loaded it up with all sorts of fresh lettuce, iceberg lettuce, it looks like, some tomato. They even got those nice big freshly cut onions. I'm gonna dive in. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I thought the Big Mac was gonna be unstoppable. Mm -mm. In my mind right now, today, Burger King is taking home the win. I guess part of the video today is really, do these restaurants focus on what goes into their burger besides the actual meat itself? Burger King has really nice buns, and all the little things that go along with the burger are also fantastic and seem to be super high quality. As of now, I'm giving Burger King the crown. Let's head to Wendy's. We are pulling into Wendy's. This has been cooking the whole time. It smells fantastic in this car right now. But look at that line, Manny. That's pretty bad. We're easily gonna be able to get a char on this though. Manny, I have a feeling this is gonna be a good flip. Oh my wow. God. That's the best we got the whole day. Do you agree? I think so. Hello? Yes, hi. Can we do a regular burger without the patty? So the number one, just no patty? Yeah, just a regular burger without the patty. Hello, how are you? We're cooking a little bit in here. Oh, oh. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Actually, I think it needs a little bit more salt. I just realized. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Is Wendy here? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Why did he say yeah? It baffles me that he said yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I saw Wendy. Our last stop of the day, Wendy. Let's see if they follow those instructions properly. Right off the bat, they have a nice shiny golden brown bun, which does look very appetizing, I must admit. And actually, I love the toppings they've got going on here. I actually think they might be better than Burger King. Is Wendy's gonna come sneakily with the win at the end here? Let's place on our beautiful final Wagyu patty. This one's extra juicy. Flip on the bun. And I mean, just take a second to appreciate that. If every Wendy's burger came out like this, they'd be fantastic. But they probably also cost 150 bucks each. Holy <laughs> Wendy's won. I don't know what it is about this whole situation, but I think for some reason, Wendy's today decided of all days to have the freshest ingredients. And that's all it took to win this challenge. Of course, we have our beautiful Wagyu patty in the middle that brings everything together with that delicious Wagyu fat that melts in your mouth. But it's not really about the Wagyu. We know that's gonna be good. Oh my God, man, it's dripping all over. Look, look at this. Wendy is just dripping wet today. So with a complete curveball at the end, Wendy's wins it. With that said, I think all three fast food restaurants did a fantastic job today. They had fresh ingredients, delicious sauces, and really nice employees, which honestly could be one of the most important things. Once again, don't forget to toss a like and subscribe, and we'll see you for the next drive-through video.